What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel for another video. I hope you guys are doing well today. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can use your Android device to connect to your PlayStation 4 with the DualShock 4 controller. You'll be able to play games such as Fortnite wherever you are in your house and even away from home depending on the quality of your internet. Let me show you how it's done. Before you get started with this, make sure that your mobile device is on the latest version of Android possible. You also want to make sure that the latest system software version is updated on your PlayStation 4 and that you have a PlayStation Network account. And one other thing before you get started that I would highly recommend is having high speed internet access on your home network. That means having good Wi-Fi to your phone and preferably having a wired ethernet connection to your PlayStation 4. After you've checked those items off, you can go ahead into the Google Play app and download the PS4 Remote Play application. Once it's installed, go ahead and launch it and select the blue start button in the middle of the screen. You'll be prompted to enter your PlayStation Network credentials in associated with the PlayStation 4 that is on your home network. Once you're all signed in, the application will start searching for the PlayStation 4 on your network and register it with your Android device. Within about 30 seconds or less, you should see an image on your phone screen of the PlayStation 4 with built-in touchscreen controls. As a little side note, unless your TV's completely unplugged, you will see the image on your phone replicated onto your TV screen. They should be the same. Now hold up here, I know you can see the PS4 screen on your phone with those button control layouts, but we have the PS4 controller and we want to connect that to our Android device. If I have the DualShock 4 controller, why on earth would I want to be using my fingers? Unless I'm just goaded at the thumbs, right? So to do that, you first want to make sure that your Bluetooth connection is turned on for your Android device. Then if you go ahead and pick up your controller, you want to hold the home button and the share button at the same time for approximately three seconds here. And then you'll see the back of the controller should start flashing, which means it's ready to pair. Now, if you go back into your Android device, you want to find your Bluetooth settings, go to pair new device and select the wireless controller. After that, you can go back to the PS4 remote app and restart the remote play session where it left off. And now you'll be able to use your controller in game. Not completely like you would be connected directly to the PlayStation, but it'd be pretty close. Just depends on the game. From my experience testing this out, first person shooters, fighting games, they did feel slightly delayed between the controller and then what appeared on my screen. I feel like this remote play feature works pretty well if you're playing a role playing game or single player. Just anything that's not online, because you'll be at a slight disadvantage. For someone like me who plays the PS4 directly quite a bit, I could really feel the input was not as short compared to playing directly to the PS4. It works, but in my opinion, it could be a bit better. But hey, at least I'm able to play wherever I want, away from the console. If you're thinking about using the PS4 Remote Play app away from your home network, make sure you're not using a mobile network. I know that would be awesome to just be out and about outside in nature and playing your PlayStation. I know one day, that day is not the day, but you need to have a stable Wi-Fi connection, preferably a high speed one. And you should be able to play your PS4 away from home. Now, one other thing I want you guys to know is that you can use the microphone on your Android phone for the game chat. To do this, click on the microphone icon on the bottom left hand side of the remote play screen. If you don't have your permissions set to allow the microphone to be used with this app, you will get a pop up just like I did. You'll have to navigate to your app permissions and allow the microphone to be recorded. Once you've done that, you can head back to the remote play app, double check that that microphone icon doesn't have the slash through it because that means that you're not enabling the microphone. If that's not the case, then you're all good to go and you'll be able to talk to people in your game. If you're all finished using the PS4 controller with the remote play app, you can disconnect the controller by turning the Bluetooth off on your Android device, or you can go back to your controller, hold down the home button and the share button at the same time together, about three seconds again, and the PS4 controller will turn off. So that's gonna be the video, guys. I know I didn't really show my face in this video, but here it is, in case you missed it. If we're being real here, I know what some of you guys are up to watching this video. You wanna play under your sheets at night when you're not supposed to and your parents tell you you're not supposed to be playing the PlayStation at a certain amount of time. And I know you're going to school and trying to play this. But guess what? If you don't have your TV unplugged, it's gonna pop up on your screen and your mom's gonna say, why is the PlayStation on? That was my best mom impression. But guys, save those pennies, save those allowances because the PlayStation 5 is on its way and it's gonna be a beast. 
machine. Just maybe the PS5 and an updated remote play app will experience low latency when we're putting input to our controller. And on top of that, we'll have a reliable connection, whether we're on a home network or even a mobile 5G network. Whew. The future's looking bright, guys. We don't need cloud gaming, we got this. A man can dream, but I envision it to be reality. But that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you smack the thumbs up button for your boy. Subscribe with the post notifications on so you don't miss a video or a live stream that I'll do on this channel, because that's what we do around here. We have fun. Whoopity whoop, 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 whoop. Hope you guys have an awesome night or day, wherever you are. If you need a hug, here's a hug. Come in for the hug. You know, I love you guys. I'll see you in my next video. Peace.